Well, it's hard to believe that Super Bowl 43 was 10 years ago, and one of that team's unquestioned leaders was linebacker James Ferrier. To take a walk down memory lane, he was joined by Lamar Woodley and Willie Colon to talk about beating the Arizona Cardinals in a thriller that brought the sticky Lombardi back to Pittsburgh. Oh, well, going back to the beginning of the season, before the season started, yeah. I remember talking to Mr. Rooney. Okay. And he was talking about the schedule being, uh, I think we had a tough schedule that year. That You know how they predict the toughness the of the schedule? The wins and losses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. they have the toughest schedule and blah, blah, blah. I think we had either the one or two toughest schedules on the year. And Mr. Rooney was like, yeah. They gave us a tough schedule this year. <laughs> and he's like, well, I guess we got to go out and win the Super Bowl. <laughs> he's like, you're right, Mr. Rooney. Let's go do it. And, you I know, try, we. I try to catch you up. I try to tell a lot of people, you know, it goes back to the whole Baltimore robbery. You forget that we went, we played Baltimore three times that year. Oh, I remember that. You know what I mean? Yeah. We played them. We played them when we had our butts kicked in Philly. Remember that game? Yeah. And yeah. the next game, we played them at home. We won them. We beat that one. And then we had to play them again. And then that was for the division. That's when San Antonio called the that. San Antonio catch. San Antonio catch. catch. All right. Yeah. And then for the AFC Championship, we were down with like seventeen to twenty almost for halftime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so you go on to that. I mean, talk about Super Bowl. I was exhausted. People, and that's what, the, I mean, you got the playoffs. We had the first round by. We played San Diego. We beat up on San Diego. We had the AFC Championship. By the time we got to Tampa, I was over football. Like, I was, I was exhausted because oh, no, you, had, you had went the distance. That was the first time, I know, for you and both of us, right, right. we ain't never been. You already had been to a Super Bowl. Oh, I was fired up. I, yeah, I knew it was about to come. I knew it was, yeah, we yeah. were in a good place. And, yeah, after that championship, the championship game, by the way, was probably one of my most favorite games ever as a football player. Do you what, what do you remember what do you remember the night before the game? The night before the game? Yeah, leading up the week the week two. Oh man, the night before the game, yeah. I didn't have any thoughts the night before the <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, I just think about going out there and doing my job the night before the game. Yeah. And yeah, you just want to be perfect. So mm-hmm. you just think about all the plays that you think you're supposed to make and all that stuff you visualize everything that you need to go through. But yeah, after that, the game, the game. was like, looking back on it. Yeah, it what do you big. remember the night before? But like, I, I remember like, y'all almost, I don't know who it was, it was a bunch of the veteran guys and they were just telling the young guys that, don't go out here and look at this game and think about all the lights, camera, action, cause it's gonna be a big stage, but just treat it like a regular game. So like I felt like the older y'all kind of set the tempo of everything. Well, they like, were the old guys with you. Yeah, yeah, you know, kind of set the tempo of like, hey man, don't get caught up in the hype. It was like y'all been there, done that before. So we just kind of played off of y'all. Right. You know what I'm saying? We we played off of y'all because y'all had just won in Detroit. So it was like, okay, this is what we need to do. One of my favorite memories. Uh, so you know, you go to the fifty, everybody's dressed up. You take your picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we all dressed up in our suits, right? Y'all had started it. You and Peasy yeah. and everybody. So the offensive line had one, so we took our picture, whatever. We go to the locker room. The game started to pick up, you know, to game time. So it was, it was weird because, to your point, I had locked in. I had treated it like a regular game. I was like, in my head, we were winning. Like, I just didn't think anything else. And so you know how the offensive line, we all walk to the door first, and then we wait for you. Yeah. So it's me and Big Chris Kimuatu. We're behind the two doors, and we're like, man, we're about to go get it. We hype, crazy hype, right? And then, so we kind of spill out. We're about to walk out. So the people, I guess, the, whoever the, was running the Super Bowl, they're like, well, hold on for a little bit. We got to let the, uh, the field clear. So it's me and Kima. We banging heads. We getting crunk. We fired up. And I'm like, yeah, man, we about to go do this. This is a Super Bowl. This is crazy. And Courtney Kardashian walked by. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm looking at Kima. I'm, I'm fired up out of my head. And I'm like, hey, did you see the Courtney Kardashian? <laughs> And he's like, yeah, brother, don't worry about it. Let's focus. <laughs> starstruck. Right. I got starstruck because of Courtney Kardashian walked by. And then, uh, then I went back into warrior mode. But I, it's just, I think a lot of people don't remember about the Super Bowl was going into that game, we had never, we didn't, we never, we didn't know a lot about the Cardinals. I didn't know a lot about them. Like from a, uh, you know, they weren't a team that we saw, you know what right, I mean? Right. So you just knew they were kicking a lot of butt along the way. You know, Fitz was having a big year. Kurt Warner was having a big year. Um, but just to go out there and I'm like, man, this is a totally different outfit. And 
they, you know, you just don't know. Like, part of me was going to that game like, all right, well, they just going to have to play our brand of football. Yeah, We're going to put see, them in I the football. I had a different perspective because most, a lot of the guys that we played with were out there at the mm. time. So, you know, Coach Wisenhunt was the head coach now. Yeah. And you had, had a lot of players. Clark was out there. Clark Higgins was out there. That's right. So you had a lot of people from the Steelers, the old Steelers yeah. out there. So it was kind of like a rivalry for us in that sense where, you know, we got a lot of these old boys over here that played with us from the first Super Bowl. Right. So we got to go out here and show out and not let them win this next one because we're the Steelers. What's one? Uh, <laughs> go ahead. And I remember, like, when, when you told us don't worry about the lights, camera, action stuff, you know, I remember I was on kickoff return. <laughs> you feel me? So when they Were kicked you? the yeah, I was, oh. I was the fullback on kickoff return. Oh wow, wow. Man. Yeah, so I was the fullback. So Those they kicked it days. off. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, this yeah. ain't what Pa said. Like I'm looking what? at the lights and getting back in. But I remember like when we first started on defense. We knocked the whole offense. Every one of their offensive linemen were on the ground. Yeah, oh, that's how we the set the play. tone. Yeah. The, first play. the first play, we mm-hmm. set the tone. It was like, cause usually you know you go out there in the game, it's like who gonna set the tone? Yeah. And I felt like we went out there and set the tone early, let them know. Like everybody talks about, obviously San Antonio did the big catch at the end. But from a defensive standpoint, what do you think was the biggest play of the game for defense? Oh man, well for you guys on that side. From a defensive perspective, we felt like we failed the team that day. Really? Yeah. Why? It was a hard day for us. I mean, we were in a position where we were about to lose the game. Like, after Fitzgerald scored that touchdown, it was like, we blew this game. The defense. Did you, I mean, you were the, obviously you're the captain of the defense. Did I'm you sick. feel like I that? I was sick. When, he, when that, we saw that man what run that? down what the middle that? of that field and nobody could catch him, it was like, oh, man. I know from the offensive line perspective, so I'm sitting next to Darnell Stapleton. And <laughs> so uh, Fitz gets it right. It's like, it looked like he caught it right on the middle of the, uh, the 50. He caught yeah, it. Yeah, he did. He caught it. He, he, caught he, it. Took a, he, went a, he did a slam, a quick slam. Uh-huh. Took it right came on. straight down the middle, caught it, and went straight down. So in my eyes, from, for us, you, you know, it was, the three fastest people on the team is Troy, Ike, and uh, RC, I mean, the, some exactly. of the fastest, and they and they they were getting the they only, got burnt. The only person that was chasing him was James Harrison. <laughs> That's the only person I saw in the in the field of vision where he was the only one that could have caught him if he was fast enough. Right. But it was like they were running like this. Yeah. Fitzgerald was right here, and Debo was right here, and it was like <laughs> the worst part. No catching so from, up from our angle because we were standing right here. So Fitz catch the ball. I'm like, well, they're going. I was like, we just grab a helmet. <laughs> yeah, he was out of it. We just grabbed that helmet because we out. knew it was gone. He was out. From that point on, yeah, that's when the defense we we were just right. just dropped. What did you think about Kurt Warner? I th- I think you know just to go back like on your your big defensive play, man. I think that uh that play before halftime, that interception was real huge for us. You know D-Bos because D-Bos because D-Bos all weekend practice we had been dropping picks. You know, Coach LeBeau said, hey, one of these players is going to help us yeah. win. You and know, he, we practiced that the whole rest the whole of the week. week. He that. got mad at us. He was like, y'all are not running after the, you get the interception. Run, everybody block. And, like, he made that a big point of emphasis. And we started doing that the rest of the week. Mm-hmm. And, oh, yeah, wow. it just it showed that we – I think we showed that – you needed every man in that play to block. Like everybody played a major they did. role they did. in the yeah. block and turn it and Even block you was running. You, yeah. You, you wouldn't. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm going to tell you. Even with Listen, even listen even I'm going to tell you. So me and James <laughs> supposed to have been rushing. So I rush yeah. and all I hear is, <sighs> I turn, I see James with the ball. So I'm running and I look at Kirk One. I'm like, he's too slow. I don't mm-hmm. need to block him. Mm-hmm. Let me keep going. So I blocked the running back and I just like pushed him. And I turn around, James is still coming. I'm like, I got one more push in me. <laughs> and I pushed him, that's it. And yeah. I fell, and James jumped over me. I'm like, I can't yeah. do it now. I remember, <laughs> it's funny, so that everybody knows, so we talked about Fitz scoring that one big play. So for the offense, uh, for the offensive standpoint, we all get to the huddle. Because we had been there. I mean, we had to go down and win it in Baltimore. Right. So we were used to being in that predicament. So I, ever, ever since the Super Bowl, a lot of people were like, man, what were you thinking? Uh, the final play, how, how crazy was it? And I was like, you don't have time to think. You really don't have time to be nervous or think if we don't score here, 
we are losing the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? Like you just, well, you know, we had time to think because we were on the sideline <laughs> and we were like, damn, yeah, we put them in we that just situation. We this whole right. Super Bowl. We played one of the most amazing seasons yeah. that we ever played as a defense. And we're about to give it up in the last game. But the, so we get that's a, all we thought about. But so we get on the field, and the first play of the game, we get a penalty. The holding call. The holding call. The holding oh, call. I was Remember so that? Mad it was a bogus call. Because yeah, Hardwick actually got he, he fell, fell down, backwards, and the boy fell on top of him. Uh, yep. The referee, I saw his face too. He was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Yeah. You're not so, getting this game. So we get the holding call. And what I love, and I tell a lot of people, and particularly when I talk to young kids about the game of football, it's one of those situations, if you believe in each other enough, there's nothing that's really going to get in your way. I remember like after that holding call, we all looked at each other like, all right, let's go again. Oh, I thought it was yeah. over. <laughs> yeah, me yeah. too. But I no, we didn't. I, as a line, I, I could testify. We all was like, let's just keep going. And then Ben started hooking up with San Antonio and on and on and on. And then the one I can never forget that played to San Antonio, we didn't see, from the offensive line standpoint, we didn't see Tone catch the ball because we were blocking. We didn't see it either. Yeah, we were blocking. And then, we, like, to your point, you hear the crowd. You're yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And I remember seven, I'm looking at seven, I'm like, did he score? He goes, I don't know. We don't know if he's in yet. All right. And Tone, and then Tone, you know, does the whole thing. He's sitting on his butt. He's holding the football. Yeah. Well, they runs over. We still don't know. And then I looked at, so we, we kind of, I'm looking at seven. He goes, let's just wait for the officials because they get the final notice. Yeah. We had to wait for the replay. And then when the replay went there, and then all of a sudden, touchdown, oh, it was over. It was over. Like, it, you, you, you never cried during a football game, but I almost gave an Academy Award, Academy Award winning cry because I, was, I was excited, man. I felt like we was going to win that game. At halftime, I brought my camera out. I had my camera on the field. Did you? Yeah. I had, Hollywood, well, at halftime, Hollywood, it was Hollywood good. Woodley I, thinking about the camera. Halftime, we were good. Oh, I was like, we, we got doing, them, man. Yeah. This is easy work. I we brought my camera out. We had just scored a touchdown. Yeah, we got them. James had just scored a touchdown. That put us up 17-7, so. Yeah, we good. I'm, I'm thinking this. Yeah, I'm but for you, over too. but for you, because we score, y'all guys still got to go back out there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you had to sat to kind of put the cap on everything. Talk yeah. About, oh, at the end. Yeah. Talk oh, about it, that. Yeah. Man, you, you know, we know what, man. It was just like I remember Coach Tom like, "Will we need a big play?" You know, you see that on TV, mm -hmm. like, "Yeah, Coach." That's what they always say. Like, sure, sure. You know, somebody will need a big play, and man, I just happened to be rushing and just like Levi was on me, just not giving up. I see I had Kurt Warner's attention. And then I had a chance to beat Levi for a last second. And then I, I oh. dived out and caused a sack for his fumble. And Brett Kiesel picked it up. And I remember Kiesel asking me after the game, Woodley, do you want the ball? I told him no. Really? He caught me in the heat of the moment. We won the ball. So you want the ball want back? The ball. Yeah. <laughs> I asked him to the Super Bowl. I told, I told him if I ever get to his house, I'm going yeah, to steal that ball. Yeah, he's got the ball in his trophy case now. I'm right. right. He, he owed me that ball. But well, at least he asked you. No, he, he asked, asked you. you. He can't ask he you. You can't get it back. Look, he you asked can't you ask when we won the Super Bowl. It's the Super Bowl. You made yeah, the play. You should be I like, yeah, thinking. I want the ball. Right, exactly. It's confetti coming down. I can't think about no. Will, you want the ball? No. So for Steeler Nation, and I have my camera. Uh, I'm gonna go to you on this one, Potsy. For Steeler Nation, uh, it, it was kind of a running theme before going uh, the playoffs, going into the championship game, about the sticky Lombard. Remember, Coach T used to talk about the sticky Lombard. Explain to people what the sticky Lombard is. The sticky Lombard is when you everybody gets around that trophy, and you know it's all bright and shiny and silver, and the sticky Lombard is when you put your hands on it. Kissing your face it. on it, <laughs> your, yeah, you put your lips on it, you get it all sticky and greasy and sweaty. That's the sticky Lombardi. That's what the That's what Lombardi trophy is all about. Yeah, I ain't kissing Lombardi. There's too many lips on it. I kissed it. I said, yeah, yeah I dang, kissed ain't, it. No, ain't no spot on that. I kissed it. I rubbed it. I got a picture of me in the locker room, like, ooh, caressing it. Yeah. Who, who was the unsung hero of that game? Who's your guy then I could Keith think? Miller. Heath. Heath Miller had a Why talk. Why you say Heath? Because there's one third down, there's a couple third downs in particular where he, Ben is scrambling back there. And Heath is, I mean, they were playing cover. Heath got open. And he, he a lot of part of that, like, if you watch the game closely. Oh, it was a third down. The third down, third it was a down. crucial third down. I remember that. Where Ben is scrambling. And I mean, we're, we're protecting our tails off. And he somehow gets open, but he has enough awareness to get behind, because he knows Ben is looking for him. Mm -hmm. And he gets behind the sticks. And Ben finds him and connects. And I tell you, that was probably one of the 
So for me, he's Miller's own. Did, so. did Hines make a big play, big catch that Because he was hurt. He right? was hurt. Er, yeah, that he, was early. Oh, that was early. early. Game. That was like yeah, the first, yeah, second, okay. second, okay. first drop. Okay. Yeah, that, yeah. But for defense, who you think? James Harrison's play was probably. Well, James, everybody knew James had a big game, but somebody outside of James. Uh, I mean, our defensive line played great. Him, I thought it was Kiesel. For Kiesel you guys. played great. And Aaron Smith. I thought Aaron Smith played great. I mean, those are all pro guys. They always play <laughs> good. I mean,. Thanks so much for joining us for the Steelers Legends Series, Players Only. It was fun to look back at Super Bowl 43 and hear from the legends who helped bring an NFL record six Lombardi trophy here to Pittsburgh.